Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather on KEZI 9 News. With all those thunderstorms and rain, we definitely got a taste of fall, but it's not sticking around. We're right back in the thick of summer, but I wanted to start by showing you some of the rainfall totals that we got so far. It's actually pretty impressive for this time of year. Now, if you'll take a look, we're seeing a quarter of an inch in Eugene. Now, again, you got to think about this. We're just in mid-August, so that's actually pretty impressive totals. Now, as far as what those rain chances will look like across the Willamette Valley as we push through the week, not much of anything at all. Like I said, we're jumping right back into summer. Zeros across the board. It's going to be a dry week. Now, what does it mean for those temperatures? Well, we're starting off in the mid 80s. Now it's going to cool down a little bit as we go towards Tuesday and Wednesday. But once we get to Thursday, we're jumping up pretty significantly. Like I said, we're jumping right back into summer. We're going to see possible 90s, so it's definitely going to be heating up. Make sure you're prepared for that. Now it's going to be heating up all across the region, not just the Willamette Valley, except for maybe on the coast. As we look at the high temperatures forecasted for Sunday, you're going to see the mid 80s, uh, low 80s in some places, of the Willamette Valley, low 70s along the coast, pushing towards Monday. That's going to creep up throughout the Willamette Valley down into the Umpqua Basin. Like I said, the coast not seeing too much movement. Now we're seeing that slight cooling as we get towards Tuesday. It's going to dip even out a little bit on the coast and Wednesday. It's going to start to creep back up before jumping up as you saw on Thursday and Friday. Now, not only are we not seeing much of rain chances, but if you look at the stormcast, we're not seeing too much in the way of cloud coverage either. We might see some roll in later Monday into Tuesday, but really not that much. We're going to see those 80 degree temperatures. Now, like I said, Tuesday we might see some roll in, but it's really not sticking around. So when I said we're getting right back into the thick of summer, I mean, I really meant it that that taste of fall that we got not sticking around and frankly it's going to be pool weather once we get to the back half of the week you saw those 90 degree temperatures in the Willamette Valley if you uh, if I were you and you have a pool I'd definitely jump in it or hey maybe hit the lake or the river because it's definitely going to be a warm one you got to make sure that you're staying cool however you can now let's take a look at the seven day forecast now out on the coast we're not seeing too much as far as the temperature range you're going to be seeing the low 70s or high 60s for the better part of the week. It might creep up a little bit towards the mid 70s as we get towards next weekend, but really not too much of a change out there. Now down in the Umpqua Basin, it's definitely going to heat up. Take a look at the back half of next week. You're actually going to see temperatures in the low 90s. So it might be a little cooler on Tuesday or Wednesday, but it's going to heat up quick. So don't uh, don't be taken by surprise once it gets warm. Uh, and over the Cascade Passes, where we've actually been seeing it much chillier and even some thunderstorms, good news up there too. It's going to be relatively uh, sunny and clear for the better part of the week. It's going to be a little chillier up there on Tuesday, but not much in the way of cloud coverage out there either. You're going to see a lot of blue skies and sunshine, honestly. Temperatures ranging from the mid 70s to the low 80s and in the Willamette Valley. It's the same story pretty much as the Umpqua Basin, just a little bit cooler. But you're seeing those 90 degree temperatures work their way back as we get towards next weekend. So like I said, folks, I said it once, I'll say it again. We said goodbye to that little taste of fall and we're moving right back in to the thick of summer.